welcome back. Growth of India is directly related to the growth of the rural area. Farmers being the central focus of rural India, it becomes necessary to give them a helping hand by providing them with top-of-the-line agricultural inputs and services. Biostat India Limited has been serving the farming community for over two decades. An impressive track record takes forward its strategy to head the leading position in the biotechnology research-based agro-inputs. This strategy has been further supported with safer and specialty chemical pesticides. The tremendous growth in the business in a span of just six years has itself created a story to talk about. We caught up earlier with Mr. Juzar S. Kharakiwala, Chairman and Managing Director, Biostat India Limited. Take a look. Now, Biostat was founded in 2003 as a modest venture and today it's grown to be a very successful organization with operation in India as well as overseas. Could you take us through the journey, please? Since 2003, when we established Biostat India Limited, it has been a very challenging, enriching and uh, satisfying uh, journey. Uh, we have been pioneers in seaweed-based uh, technology uh, where uh, Seaweed, as you know, is a very important biostimulant for the agriculture industry. Uh, in 2004 or 5, we ventured into seeds, hybrid seeds, mainly in the area of Bajra and Castor. Uh, and then uh, recently we acquired a, a seeds company, Nandi Seeds. And today the seeds business represents about 8 or 10 percent of our total revenues. Uh, in 2007, we uh, got into another uh, business of uh, addressing farmers in the horticultural segment through a b division called Ingene, which only goes to horticultural farmers, which fruits and vegetables. In 2008, uh, we acquired a 50% stake in Vietnam, uh, mainly in the aquaculture business, through a company called uh, Vinthin, Biostat Vinthin Limited. That was in, uh, in the year 2008. And recently we acquired a hatchery in Vietnam about two years ago to, uh, to further do, to do a backward integration uh, in, in our aquaculture business. So overall our journey from 2003 to 2017 has been a very, very uh, satisfying journey. And we have done all this without uh, uh, any financial borrowing as we are a totally debt-free organization. So it has been a, quite a challenge. Uh, and with a CAGR growth of almost 15% year on year. Having said that, sir, what really is Biostat's core competence? And how does that translate into your range of products? Basically, we are into branded formulations uh, in our four verticals. So we have four verticals, mainly uh, crop care, uh, engine, which is goes to, as I said, horticultural farmers, then our aqua culture business, and our seeds business. So these are our four major verticals. And then uh, our core competence is also our digital infrastructure that we have created uh, in a rural area, where all our salespeople are on uh, tabs, where we are digitally connected with our distributors. Our orders are all online. And uh, so everything is done online as far as our entire rural infrastructure is concerned. And that gives a, a lot of edge over uh, other organizations. And thirdly, our uh, seaweed extract products, that is our nutritional biostimulant products. We are the key players in this. So these are the key uh, distinguishing features of our organization. Well, our entire product range, we have almost 200 products uh, across all our divisions. So if you say in, in the area of crop protection, we have insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, weedicides, and our uh, biostimulants. Uh, in our seeds, we have mainly bajra and castor. In aqua, we have our probiotics, deionizers, uh, uh, and a lot of biological products for water management in, uh, and hormones. So these are our broad range of products uh, across our four verticals. Okay. Could you elaborate a little bit on the manufacturing facilities and the state-of-the-art technologies that your company employs? We have four manufacturing facilities. One is in Jammu, where we established that facility in 2007. That's our major manufacturing facility, mainly for our crop protection chemicals, where we also do custom manufacturing for large multinationals. Our second facility is in Bhavnagar, which is a totally biological facility 
for our biostimulant category of products. And our seed facility is based out of Ahmedabad, which is a new facility that we created about a year ago. And our aquaculture facility is based out of uh, Baroda. And our R&D center is based out of Aurangabad. So all our four verticals have their own manufacturing facilities. Now let's talk a little bit about biostat-induced lactose fermentation technology. Could you help our viewers understand what this technology is all about? You see, we import our seaweed uh, from Northern Europe. Uh, the climatic conditions in Northern Europe, as far as the seaweed is concerned, is that there are six months of daylight, six months of darkness. And uh, the seaweed uh, gathers all its nutrients when there is sunlight because of photosynthesis. And that is the time we harvest the seaweed. So it has, it has very rich nutrients. Then the extract is made out of the seaweed and we import the extract. And that extract is gone through fermentation process in India, which, it, which allows it to release all the oxygen, cytokinins and beneficial stimulants for the growth of the plant. And that's why we see in vegetables, the growth is almost uh, 15 to 20%. And in cereal crops like rice and wheat, the growth is about 10%. So this, this is the entire beauty of this technology. Where do you see the company going five to 10 years down the line? What really is the vision for Biostat? Uh, basically, all our four verticals are, are in a growth phase and the, the market potential is very huge for all our uh, four verticals and that's why we keep growing at, at the rate of 15 percent that's one secondly ag the agriculture technology in india is at a very low level productivity of agriculture is very low we as a company are connected to the farmers directly through a digital platform uh, we have on our database almost two lakh farmers whom we can talk directly so that allows us uh, long term to really connect with the farmers in terms of information sharing, in terms of technology, in terms of product knowledge. Uh, we are expanding our footprint in, uh, in Vietnam uh, uh, through the, our aquaculture and we are exporting to almost uh, 12 to 15 countries from, uh, from India. And we keep on expanding and looking at new countries. This year we will be uh, operationalizing uh, Kenya, uh, Egypt and the United States. So that will be our growth as far as the international operations are concerned. With a well-charted goal and powerful alliances, Biostat India Limited is growing from strength to strength, expecting to touch the base of INR 1000 crores by the year 2018. With this, we come to the end of this episode. I'll be back next week with the success stories of few other SMEs. Till then, goodbye and take care.